Mm-hmm. All right, this, the lack of flavor on this one is mm-hmm. just incredible. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Foam Rose Food. We're in Philadelphia. And for those of you who don't know, Philadelphia is a city in a state called Pennsylvania. Hey guys, what do you think about when you think about Philly? I think about history and the Liberty Bell. I think about great athletes like Allen Iverson and Rocky. I think about Fresh Prince and Philly Philly cheesesteaks. All right, today it's a sunny day in South Philly, and we are going to be eating at and comparing the two most famous cheese steaks in the entire world, Pat's and Gino's. Let's go. First up, the people who actually invented the cheese steak in 1930, Pat's. According to the sign, when you're ordering the onions, it's wit or without. Uh, oh my well, God, well, I think we, I might mess this up. Well, hi, yeah. could I get a uh, wit provolone and a uh, wit American? American wit, probably wit. And a uh, whiz wick. <laughs> Yo, we just had Andrew do it because we were about to hop in. Yo, man, that was pretty, no, pretty no, no, nerve wracking. No, no, no. It came out fast, bro. So, all right, so we were just informed by the Philadelphia native. Born and raised in Philly, so listen to me. That he likes to put ketchup on it. I'm gonna put a little bit of ketchup on and get a few peppers on it too. Mine already looks crazy. I don't know what I'm doing. All right, so we just got the three cheese steaks. We have Wiz, American, and Provolone as far as the cheeses go. Of course, all wit onions. <laughs> I got the uh, the Wiz Khalifa. Cheese Wiz Khalifa. <laughs> you know, my whole life, I thought that American cheese had to be yellow like the Kraft singles because that was my reference for American cheese. But when I got older, I found out that a lot of places use white cheese as American cheese. Yeah. So I thought America was yellow, but apparently America's more white. A. All right, first of all, I think a lot of it is the bread. It's I heard not that... no bun me bread, this is not. <laughs> I heard that it has something to do with the Philly water, the way they cook the bread, but I, 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 I know, I think the no, uh, a lot of water has to do with cooking bread. So, yo, now I know why Mike Vick was so bad, man. He was eating, no. he was eating the, the football became the Philly cheese that you started throwing these around. The bread is a little chewy, but the chopped steak is easy to eat. It's tender. Definitely the part that caught me off guard is how easy the whole thing is to bite into. Now, I know that on camera, this is not going to look extremely pretty, but trust me, everything's rolling together right now. The onions, the beef, the little bit of ketchup on it. You got provolone. I don't even know if they put like mayonnaise on it or anything, but it's good. It's good. Now, cheese does it right. It's not too much cheese. It's good. All right, Tim, you shot it, but what do you think? <laughs> and and all, shout out to Tim for being in Philly with us. I like the mix of the flavors, like having the, the pepper, the, the ketchup, and then the, the meat and cheese, everything all mixed together, that, that's really good. Everything by itself is kind of like, all right, but put together, man, it's like a match made in heaven, man. Oh. Oh, okay, so we got to get the same sandwiches at Gino's okay. that we got here. All right, it is noteworthy that we have to give Pat's its props because Pat's did invent the cheesesteak. Right. Let's, Let's hit, hit Gino's. Gino's. Is the line at Gino's as long as the line at Pat's? No. And I heard it's because a little dust up with some racist things that the owner may have said in the past. They had a sign up previously that said you have to speak English to order at Gino's, which is good that they put that there because I was gonna order in Chinese. Oh, me too. Sanbei <laughs> Philly. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'll say this, one thing right off the bat, there's more onions. And right off the bat, the bread is fluffier. The sliced beef right now is giving me, visually, it's a little bit more neat. It's not as like kind of the chopped up. Honestly, no, I, and I hate to relate it back to the Vietnamese stuff, but it actually looks like some of the beef you might have in pho. <laughs> Gino's uses pho beef. <laughs> Replicating the experience at Pat's as close as possible. Oh yeah, that was, that was the same bite. Oh, he got ketchup on his face just like this. Mm, that is true. <laughs> the lack of okay. flavor <laughs> in this one is inexcusable. It didn't feel like the onions were trying to be a team with the meat and the cheese and the bread. Mm. It felt like the onions were trying to shine on their uh, own, and I didn't like that. Sometimes when something dominates, it can work well, like the Philly legend Allen Iverson. He's played two goals. Seven straight points by Iverson. Looked like he was dead in the water. He stepped around Lou. But then sometimes it doesn't work well, like older Allen Iverson, Denver Allen Iverson. While I agree with you on the onions, to me the onions are not the problem. I think it's the meat. 
I just ate the meat on its own. It didn't have that much taste. You know what this tastes like? This tastes like a pizza pocket. The Philly cheesesteak hot <laughs> yeah, pot. Yeah, the Philly cheesesteak hot pot. <laughs> I'll say this particular problem one, it tastes like the Philly cheesesteak hot pocket Light! Light! He said light! <laughs> They're called Lean Pocket! Oh! <laughs> the Lean Pocket! Why did it turn into Lino's? <laughs> oh. You know, I'm gonna have to go and agree, and I'm gonna have to go and say I like the bread. The bread is really soft, it feels nice on your hands, you know, like the other one. I mean, it feels nice. You know what it is? It has these pockets of softness. Yeah. Like, this part is okay to hold, but then you get your hand right in this little, little oh. groove. Little yeah. groove like a football. Yeah. <laughs> You throwing spirals with this funky groove thing. <laughs> funky groove thing. All right, so we know that Gino's and Pat's are the two most popular Philly cheesesteak spots in the entire world. They're both famous in their own right. Mm -hmm. Gino, uh, you know, famous in its way. Pat, famous in, uh, for being the originator. Which one do you like better? You know, I'm going with uh, Pat's. It even hurts me to have this come out of my mouth because I'm a Seahawks fan but I have to go with the Pats. Oh, I gotta go with Pats too, actually. <laughs> I could see why somebody would like Geno's better though. You guys Absolutely. understand? You know what? It's different, different people like different things. <laughs> That's life. With a clear unanimous decision from the Fung Bros and Richie Lee, the winner of the Philly Cheesesteak Philadelphia <laughs> Philly Cheesesteak Championship is Pats. <laughs> All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching our Philadelphia cheesesteak episode of Fung Bros Food. Make sure you let us know what other stuff you want us to try in the comment section below. And until next time, we're out. Peace. Thank you, everybody, for watching the Philly cheesesteak battle in Philly. Uh, by the time you watch this, we're not going to be in Philly anymore, but I can tell you this, I like the city. When I was growing up, you saw so many things about Philadelphia, whether there was you know, the intro to Fresh Prince, It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, or other shows like that. To be here, it lives up. To the image. I was really glad that we got to taste the historic, you know, the brand of the Philly cheesesteak that has spread across the globe. It's a global thing, Philly cheesesteak. You know what, I've only been here for a few hours and already I could tell the people have like, you know, this really embedded culture about them. They're really proud of where they're from. I like it. Shout out to Philly cheesesteak, shout out to the people of Philly, and shout out to everybody that we met. West, West Philadelphia, Philadelphia, born and raised on the playgrounds where we spend most of Subscribe to our day. channel down here, check out this video right here, check out this video right here. Piece. Hey, this looks like the playground that Will Smith was playing on. <laughs> this is does. this is the one.